Hello, Jim Conti here at the New Jersey Coffee School in Hoboken, New Jersey, with a tidbit or a little bit of knowledge on the origins of espresso as we've come to know it, or as you've come to purchase it here from your favorite cafe on this commercial grade Simonelli three group head espresso machine. Now it's hard to believe, or at least it is for me, that less than a hundred years ago, this was the espresso machine of choice in most households, certainly in an Italian household uh, in Italy. Um, the mocha pot, uh, as it's referred to, um, was really scientifically not that much different than this. However, you know, just to give you a brief description of how this thing worked, it comes into two pieces. Um, the lower half of it contains the portafilter, something similar to this on this machine, where your ground up coffee, now you wouldn't grind the coffee as fine uh, as this machine needs it in here. You'd have the basin for the water, which you'd fill up to almost to the top. You'd drop your ground up coffee in there. You'd screw the top in really nice. Now think about how you've seen your favorite barista work their machine here. Um, and then you'd screw it on and you'd drop this on your stove top for about probably five minutes or so, allowing the water to boil, create some steam pressure, and it rises up through that spigot, through the coffee basket here in the middle, into the top reservoir, where you'd get your favorite morning cup of coffee five minutes or less, which was probably really effective and efficient less than 100 years ago. Now, many of us don't have that kind of time to wait uh, as we go to our favorite coffee shops and have our favorite barista making coffee. But in a few minutes, I'll show you how the science behind the Cafe de la Mocha uh, is very much like science today in your machines. The pressure here is obviously much greater, nine bars versus one or two on this, which is probably why we can't refer to this as espresso and it is called a mocha pot. Um, but it's bars and things like that and the pressure are things that you can pick up here uh, as, as knowledge at the New Jersey Coffee School. So look for my next video on making your favorite cup of espresso on your commercial grade machine. Jim Conti, New Jersey Coffee School.